What's up guys, so here today I'm going to show you how to model swap in The Walking Dead as well as The Wolf Among Us. I'll be using The Wolf Among Us as an example right now because I guess they have easier things to do. It's all the same process for each of them, but you know, how it is. So, first thing you want to do is create a folder. You can create it anywhere you want to, but uh, I put mine on my desktop called Model Swap right here. Now, if you want to, you can make copies of these files which are in... The folder real quick let me go to it show you guys and what will normally be on the pc well of course pc but you want to go to steam folder apps common and then the walking dead season two pack and then here they are now you now right now we're focusing on the data right now and same thing for the wolf among us right down here and then it's right there at data. That's episode one. Save for episode two and episode three. So those are the files we're gonna we're gonna extract and everything. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So after you created the folder right here, model swap, you wanna put the copies on here. That's just it's just so you don't actually loot like mess up you can't file too much. You can actually restore it. So make copies. Always make copies. They're good. And I'll show you guys that for a second, but First thing you want to do is go to, this web, go to this site right here. It'll be in the description box below. And when you go here, it'll take you right to this section right here. This is the Telltale Extraction Tool. What you want to do is click the link up here. It will open a zip folder for you to download. And then bam, you download it and you open it up. And then here it is. Now you're wondering what this is. This is the file to actually extract everything. Now, I made a folder inside this folder called TT Arch. That's what we're going to actually use to... Um, call will make that program work in the command console or whatever. So I put everything in here. Do not do not know where that 54 file came from, but you know, ignore that. So if we want to do, put it in there. And now the fun part: extracting the data. Now we do the Wolf Among Us episode one. So I'm gonna go ahead and you know what? Let's go ahead and do episode two. Yeah, let's do episode two. Because we're going to use episode 2. So, what you want to do is open up the command prompt, which is CMD. None the cast doesn't matter. But, you know. Now, here, the, here we got to do. So, since mine is on my desktop, I want to do CD. Then, desktop. Slash. Model swap. And then, what's it? Slash TT Arch. That's the name of the folder you put the files in. So, bam. Now, you have that. Now, if you do ttarch.exe, it will open this up now. All I want to know from this is basically 54 is The Wolf Among Us and 55 is The Walking Dead. Now for The, for the Walking Dead Season 1, I'm guessing that 52 is that. So, I mean, everything I'm saying, it basically works the, all the same for each game. So, follow this method for each of the games. Now, here's the, here's the actual extraction. We're going to use this. To actually, this method right here for extract, extraction is like right there. So you can use that, but I'm gonna go ahead and extract the data from this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. We'll copy that and into this folder right here. So let me do that real quick. So do TT Arch, and then it's gonna be 20, not 50, not 25, but 54 for the Wolf Among Us. And then the folder of the file. Now, since I do not want to type all of that, you can just go ahead and do like this. And then paste it at the, uh, you when know, slash it. And then get the name of the file, episode 2 data. Highlight that and get it. And then we're going to do a paste another again. And there we go. Quotation it. Now, what we just did, we're running the program TT Arch. It's getting the game Wolf Among Us, which is 54, and this is the file that we're extracting from. So then we're gonna put the output folder, which is basically the folder where all the files are going to, which is gonna be data, the Wolf Among Us episode two. Oops. <laughs> okay. There we go. Wolf Among Us episode two. You wanna space it, of course, and then paste it. You don't have to have quotation marks around it, but you know, after this, it will begin to extract the data, and you'll see each and every prop will be going okay so now it is done it doesn't take that long but probably 30 seconds at the most so now we have all the files from that file into this folder now we're focusing on 
swapping models so you want to go down to the SK files which are basically the properties of each character now in the beginning scene I believe of episode 2 we have Big B, Detective Brannigan and Crane so I already replacing all those three models for you guys so basically it's just easy it's so easy like all you gotta do is change the name of these properties now we'll find Big B real quick I think he's like in down here 54 it's like Big B yeah Big B that prop Let's replace Big B with who shall we replace him with? Hmm, let's see. Bluebeard, Bluebeard, why not? So Big B will be Bluebeard. I'm going to put a 1 right there just so I can go ahead and rename this to Bluebeard. And there we go, we have Bluebeard. And that's all you got to do. So really all you got to do, and you have the files actually. The, the models actually swapped, and there we go. That's about, that's it. Now let's find Detective Brannigan. I'm not really sure where she would be. I think her name is Kelsey. On this, Kelsey Brannigan. I want to see more of her, more of her episode four, by the way. <laughs> so let's see. Hmm, who should I place her? Let's place Kelsey with. Ah, uh, let's let's do Narissa. Put one right there, and let's see. And then Kelsey will be Larissa, N A R I S S A. And then we'll have Kelsey right there. And then who else? With a crane, yeah, crane. We replace crane with maybe the woodsman. Maybe the Whistlin. Oh yeah, here's Glamour Toad, in case you guys wanted that. He's coming soon, I bet. But yeah, moving on. Is there a place? Okay, man. No. Okay, no, we'll do that. Let's do Cryer, maybe. Yeah, Crane with Cryer, because he's close. So let's go ahead and... No, let's go Crane.prop. Now, this is like... Hey, I'll show you guys whenever I do the gameplay test. But... You might have lighting issues for certain characters. Now, I do not know how to fix that yet, but I am determined to to perfect this. And there is so much I don't know about this yet because you know I'm just a beginner at this, but I learned enough. I cry here, but I learned enough to actually begin to learn more. So I really want to work on bringing Walking Dead characters over to Wolf Among Us. Not really sure how to yet, but I will find out how because you know I found this out all by myself mostly. And all I needed was that website, and I figured it out all by myself, like legit. So now I'm showing you guys. So basically, this is it. We replaced all three people. They should all be replaced. And now the other part, where we gotta build it. So now we're gonna go into you know do the TT arch again, and we're gonna do dash B, which is build, and dash capital V for version. We do seven, and we do fifty four for the Among Us. Now this one is gonna be now, okay, it's okay. This one, the it's output folder, and then it's the it's the actual folder of the data. So we're gonna do my external hard drive. I have let's see, let's do it like E. Is it yeah? E dash zero dot T T arch two. Or right, I'll change the name of that later. And then let's do model swap because I put it in that folder model swap. And then slash zero dot tt 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 arch two, and then bam. So now we're gonna do the folder, which is this folder right here. I'm gonna copy that, and we're gonna paste. Now here it is. So I'm breaking down for you. So tt arch, which is a program build version, is version seven, and it is the Wolf Among Us fifty four. This is the file. This is the file. That's this the finished version of the file. This one is what is it? This one is the folder that that is coming from the file. All the files from that folder will be put into this TTArch file, which then will be put into the pack for the game, and you'll load that pack up. So we can now build this, and now talk talk a little bit now. Basically, what you're doing with this like this method. What it, what it does is replace the models. Now, for certain models, like for example, it's done already, but I'm talking a little bit. 
but for models like um see Narissa and Faith, they share the same type, I guess. The model model build or whatever. They send a model build and um I don't know what I was gonna say, but like I'm guessing like okay, for Bigby, I replaced uh him with somebody bluebeard. Their mouth will not move and you will have lighting issues now. That's what I'm really trying to fix because I do hate those. I mean, like, obviously, the character will be all black. And for some scenes, it don't it doesn't do that. Like, the, if you watch my other video, I did the, you know, I replaced Bluebeard with, with Wolf. I replaced Wolf Bigby with Bluebeard. And I replaced Dumb and D with some other people. Clever Hans and Toad, Mr. Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad. So, you want to go to the Wolf Among Us folder. And you want to go to the file right here. And we're going to delete this. I'm going to move this over to my other monitor. And I'm going to change the name of this. And we're going to drag it into here. And there we go. We basically just changed the model. So we're basically done here. I'll be doing a gameplay test. But I want to talk a little bit. More because I didn't really explain that too good. So, mouth will not move, and you will have lighting issues. And sometimes you might even have other issues, less likely, depending on the model. Like, if you replace D with Clever Hans, then his neck will stretch. It depends on the character. Like, if you replace Grendel's unglamour mode with Crane, then he'll be all stretched out. So, it's basically it basically depends on the tone of the character. Like you place Big B with Lawrence, then it'll be all fine. But you'll have lighting issues sometimes. So thank you guys for watching. This has been the part of the tutorial. I'll be moving on to a gameplay test now, so you guys can check that all out. And be sure to leave a thumbs up if you did. If it did help you, and if you did not understand, please tell me down below and tell me what kind of problem you're having. And I will do my best to help you that help you as much as I can. So thank you guys for watching, and on to the gameplay. Okay guys, so we are testing out the model swapping. Sorry for the frame rate stutter, it's just being weird right now. But yeah, here's right after I just started the game in episode 2. And the model swapped is working fine. You see Bluebeard there. And Big B's place and everything. And that's happening, so you see that. Yeah, the frame rate's back up. Okay, good. So, there we go. You see that, it worked. Let's look at Kelsey, however, and model should be swapped and everything. You see the hand, and it is Nerissa. <laughs> okay, let's do this. <laughs> so, yeah, so model swapped. That's all it is to it. I'm gonna wait till Crane gets in here so you can see his model swap too. I'm gonna be mean to her. I know it's been a long night for you. This is weird. You look like you could use some rest. There we go. So let's wait. So. And you see the mouse don't move, and there aren't any lighting issues, but sometimes there are lighting issues, which is kind of weird. So, I'm not really sure how to fix that, but I will learn how. I will learn. I will definitely learn. I have to learn. It's what I do. I'm a mother now, and I will do that. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. Don't know who did that. I don't think you do. I miss I missed that. It's okay. Let's wait a little bit to crane till she starts That's bleeding and everything. Helpful. Thank you. Waiting. Might just go ahead and skip to the part. But yeah, I just wanna find out how to fix the whole mouth move not moving issue. Otherwise I got everything working great. You know, model swapped, everything looking good. And there's the blood, but you know, it's just like a line because <laughs> it looks weird. Uh, you missed a spot. You missed a spot. Yeah, you just smeared it. So yeah, some stuff would be weird depending on like if they get hurt or something like that. And actually depends. I'm Detective Franigan. I don't think they have facial expressions either. So, it would just be a blank face while she's going crazy. Yeah. Please. Please. 
So basically like a static model just moving. Everything is moving. But I shall figure it out for you guys and I will as soon as I figure it out, because I know I will figure it out. I have to figure it out. As soon as I figure it out, I'll post another video. A part two maybe. Cause I want to figure it out. And here comes Crane in a second. There we go. He is Cryer. Go now. He is Cryer. There we go. Okay, why did you? What did you do to her? She'll be fine. Mall swapping, everything works, it's and looking all good. No nope, fighting issues. From what I see. The whole so thank you guys for watching. This has been model swapping tutorial gameplay part. Well, if you guys did learn something, like I said before, leave a thumbs up and everything. You could ask questions below. I don't care. I'll do my best to answer them and help you guys out if you didn't understand anything. We're gonna look at knocked out Larissa. So I will catch you guys later. I'm out.